This is what Taco Bell looked like in our city in the late 60s, early 70s. This was the original Taco Bell mascot and was one of the first victims of political correctness, and they had to get rid of it because it was demeaning. One of my favorite menu items of, at Taco Bell was the Bell Beefer. It was just basically the taco fillings on a hamburger bun. At that time, burritos were only 25 cents a piece, and for $1.59, you could get a whole meal. So let's recreate the original Bell Beefer. Hey, Curtis of Texas. I hope you liked my uh, little intro there. Um, this video is a result of a comment from a fellow YouTuber and subscriber on one of my last videos um, when I asked if she had ever heard about the Taco Bell Burger. Now, in the uh, early 70s, when I had first got my driver's license, uh, I was able to go to Taco Bell, um, bean burritos. I used to get the uh, bean burrito, which then had a green sauce. They were 25 cents, and so was the Bell Beefer. Now, the original Bell Beefer is what I'm going to recreate. The Bell Beefer was around till uh, the mid-80s, and they discontinued it. Um, it created a big uproar, I remember, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Taco Bell originally uh, created it to compete with the fast food chains that were starting to emerge at that time. Um, but a lot of people just didn't end up ordering it. But when they discontinued it, they, used to, they had these things in the San Francisco Bay Area called Stank, S-T-A-N-K, Stankins, where they actually had sit-ins uh, to bring it back. They did bring the... Um, Bell Beefer back briefly um, till the mid 90s. At that time, they created the uh, Bell Beefer Supreme where they added tomatoes. And um, again, they sought, thought it was better to discontinue it. I believe it was briefly bought, brought back in 2012. So again, we're gonna recreate the original Bell, Bell Beefer that I had in the early 70s. Um, now you can buy all the Taco Bell seasonings so you, you can make your own taco beef. We make our own rubs and seasonings here at home. So um, when I make a beef burrito, it's just kind of, or a beef taco, or whatever, it's my own concoction. So let me show you what we're gonna use to recreate the original Bell Beefer from the early 1970s. Okay, to uh, recreate our bell beefer, um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I took this from our preps. This is a Hereford's shelf stable uh, beef taco filling. I've tried it, it's pretty good, and it's pretty similar to what Taco Bell um, kinda does, or you can buy the Taco Bell seasoning. But I, I highly suggest you make your own, save a lot of money. So we have hamburger buns, we have um, we don't have romaine or uh, we don't have um, iceberg lettuce. We use uh, real lettuce. Iceberg lettuce is just it's 90 calories for a whole head of lettuce, and it's 90% water. So we have um, some salad greens, spring mix. We have chopped onions. We have um, a Mexican blend of grated cheese. Now, Sabrina and I do like a Taco Bell sauce because we make um, clone bean burritos here at home. But I found this other substitute, which is half price, and you get a lot, twice as much, is this Gaspara's taco seasoning or taco sauce. This is available at Dollar General, and it tastes pretty darn close to the Taco Bell. So all that's involved uh, for us today is heating up this beef taco filling, I'll do that off camera, and then we'll assemble our nostalgic Taco Bell beefer sandwich. Now to get this Herefords um, a little bit closer to the Taco Bell seasoning, I added a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of chili powder, and one tablespoon of water. And that, that helps it kind of emulsify and help, helps it get heated through. So I think we're ready. All right, folks, it's time to uh, recreate our Taco 
bell beefer. Now, like all burgers, lettuce goes on the bottom. This protects the bottom bun. Then we put our diced onions and now our cheese. And here we have our bell beefer. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. It's hot. But it is good. Now, I haven't been to Taco Bell in a few years. You know, they're always trying to upchange their menu. But for me, I always liked the Bell Beefer. I don't know why they got rid of it. I think they should try bringing it back. What do you think? Anyway, if, um, if you never had a Bell Beefer, give it a try. Uh, for you, those of you that remember back in the 70s, you know, this will be a little bit of nostalgia for you. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Matter of fact, I'm going to have another one. I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.